Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we have here this Alpha 147 which the climate control, the control for the temperature does not work it seems, okay? So the customer complains that uh, the temperature, whatever the position that it chooses here on the selector is always warm. Not hot enough on the winter and not cold enough on the summer. So on these systems what you have here is an electronic controller, the control unit for the climate control is this thing over here or that one okay and then on this uh, on this one zone climate controls you have over there with the yellow on this case on the yellow um sticker you have the controller just like this one over here you have the controller for the position of the position from which the air will will come out of okay from the from the fins over here from the top from the bottom whatever okay and over here you have the one that controls the door for the temperature, okay? You do not have a valve on the water system to control that. You just have a, a door that controls the position of the air, okay? So what you can do to test if the problem is on this uh, small step motors, which is very, very common, is to, re is, is to switch up the position of them, okay? So I re did remove here the connector from this one. It's very hard to reach, but you can do it. And put this on that other connector, and the stepper motor will function. Okay, that uh, tells me that the problem is not on the stepper motor, of course, because it works. It just uh, does not work on this connector, okay? And this stepper motor on that connector does not work also. So we have a problem clearly on the wiring or on the controller itself okay so being this on the inside of the car is very rare to have problems on the wiring itself so i take a chance on the used control unit and uh, let's see if it works okay if you need a video for how does this whole thing works i have a video down on the description on the whiteboard to show you how it works in principle okay and if you need a video how to test the blower motor i that i do also have that it is down on the description once i have a car with that issue on the blower for example i'll do a video for that now let's uh, li let me show you how to remove here this this area to replace and to test here this component now to reach here you have to remove the stereo this area over here well, in fact, you do not need to remove the stereo, but it is easier to pull on this area here of the trays to pull them out. You can also pull them in this way, but it can be a little bit bad with age, okay? But if you do not have the code for the radio, I advise you not to remove the, the plugs, okay? So pull the stereo here a bit to a side, and then with your hand, pull on the back of this area. Be careful with personal belongings, okay? Now we have two screws, three millimeter head screws, just like one on 156s. <coughs> now when pulling here, on this lower area, you will have two clips like this. These ones are not present. This area over here is a separate unit and it depends on the version of the car because some of them do not have the front fog lights, for example, and others, other stuff. And for that, as you can see, you have here a connector for the, the top module and the connector for the bottom one. And now, before assembling everything, let's test everything, because even if this works, you have to check out if the rest of the functions all work. Switch on the ignition. Let's test here the buttons. So, preferably, if you, if you want to do this the right way, you have to disconnect the battery, connect it again, and wait 5 to 10 minutes before you do anything else, because this has, has to do a learning by itself, like I told you on other videos, okay? So, switch on the ignition. Now, with the battery reconnected, I can see now that the LED fu functions for the AC system, 
it functions for the recirculation, it functions for the defroster, and I can hear the relay. I can see that the fan works perfectly, the blower. I can hear the positions work beautifully. Let it stop. And I can hear and feel on the stepper motor, that white part on the back of it, I can see and I can see, I can see it move when I do this, and I can hear it as well, finally, okay? So, it's done, everything is, um, it's working correctly. I also can see that in the dark, so this is the back side of it, I can see that these three LEDs, or uh, normal bulbs, I don't recall which, which are they, they work, and the, on this older one, the middle one was bad, so that is another plus. I was also doing here the timing belt for this engine. If you need a video for that, it is down in the description, okay? This is a 1.9 liter multi-jet engine. If you need a video for the Twin Spark, I do also have it. Now remember that this connector goes on this slot over here, this upper connector, and do not forget about the clips. Oh yeah, so good. The antenna wire is always coming out, so be aware of that. I like to put the stereo first because I want to see if the wires are uh, not binding. And also in this way, I, I know I have to, I have space for this race. So this area over here has to go on the specific spot over there and it will go but we have to tilt it the right way. I think it's down. Yay! Look at that! Now the customer has this little trim over here. Okay, in fact that is enough to do the variation from hot to cold, it's just the way it is, don't be scared, it is just a little bit of a quarter turn, a, and it will do what we need to do, okay? So now, now I will assemble here the stepper motor in place, and assemble the rest of the glove compartment, and uh, job done. Now clearly you cannot see anything, okay? Once I have a, a dashboard out, I will show you a lot more because this is almost impossible to record. Now you want to have your stepper motor close to the real position of the, the door that controls the temperature, okay? I know that the door is all the way hot because I did uh, push it with my finger to all the way hot because it is winter in Portugal, okay? is in place. Now three screws with 5.5 millimeter heads. Now imagine this, and this is very common. When you have the, the stepper motor out, 
it will work but once you put it in place it will not that means that the the climate control the doors on the inside of the climate control are stuck that's why it's so important to see by hand if you can move them like I was able to do okay so sometimes the problem is not electric is a mechanical problem okay sometimes the gears can strip because the motor is doing so much force it will strip okay but having sensors on the inside normally it stops before braking normally that bolt over there many times is not there because it's very difficult to reach and you have to use a very very odd tool that I have it's, which is a ratchet that turns when you turn the handle it's not that very easy to do with one hand Let's see if I can show you if you do not use all of the all of the screws you will break something okay like this and you can do also do it in reverse Of course, it also will work like this. So this is a Facom. This is very expensive, but sometimes it is a lifesaver. This is a Facom one, and the part number. It is R three sixty. Now you can put your glove box box. Don't forget here the connectors for the switch. does not matter which way around now if you have an issue with AC now it's the time to see it not previously okay because previously you didn't, did not have any way of controlling the temperature yeah now you have now is the time the main complaint of the customer was the low heat and now it's it just looks like a sauna it's very very hot very hot really and um, for the AC, for the cold air, let's see now how it works. It could be good, okay, but without the ability to modify the temperature on the inside of the car, of course, that will not work. Now we can see if the compressor goes in and the temperatures and whatnot. If you need videos for that, I do have them on the description below on the playlist for climate control. I have a lot of videos for that that can be useful for you. The screws here are 25 Torx ones. They also may be Phillips head screws. Now the door itself. Now on the door you can do it like, uh, like what? And now the screws on the other side, six of them. With at least one to hold it down and test it. About this uh, chrome thing over here, Alpha does sell this in separate and you can repair your glove box door. I did several already.
Well, you cannot see it, but I can. The compressor is not kicking in, which means that Freon is not present. And I can, and I can confirm that. It has absolutely nothing on the Freon system. So it has to be charged to see if, uh, well, before being charged, if, if it has any leaks and where, and then we can repair the leak, charge it again, and it will produce cold air, okay? But uh, for now it is uh, then because it is winter time, and uh, well, we can do without that for now. And uh, once we, ha we arrive to the summertime, the customer will check that out, because for now the expense is too much, okay? It was a timing belt, it was the service of the car, it was uh, this issue over here, which is now solved. The customer wanted the, the hot air on the inside of the car. That is solved. And now we have a second issue here with the, with the AC system where no Freon is present on the system, okay? Guys, if you need videos for climate control, I have a playlist down on the description that is called just that, climate control and whatnot. Also on the description below, you have videos and links for other areas of the car, like brakes, for example, suspension work. I have crank no starts. I have lack of power. I do really have a lot of stuff that can and will be useful for you, okay? Also down on the description, please, if you can, give a look at the possible helps that you can do for the channel like PayPal and Patreon, okay? I see you next time, guys. Bye!